Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the park. Uh, engineer, where are you going? That's right. Come on back. Why was he leaving? What was that all about? Where were you headed? There ain't nothing down there for you to fix. You're supposed to be high level, my friend. Screw. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Planet Coaster. Where we last left off was not here, but B-Day, 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 hey, day da day do B-Dubs has done a bunch of work. I think we kind of left off here, kind of? But I did some things and I made some changes. Uh, I got this roof kind of figured out as best I could uh, to get that kind of tied in. I just dropped it a little bit so that this upper intersection right here was close. Eee. It's close. Uh, without doing a bunch of custom stuff, I think that that's good. That works for us. And I still haven't gone into like the major detail of these buildings, but I'm kind of finding that it's not really necessary. Like overall, this looks really, really nice. Once you start getting the foliage and all the other decoration and stuff in here, it ends up, you know, not being extremely necessary. Bushes and plants and trees, they all play a very big role in helping to beautify and just add a, a charming feel to your park. Now today, the day I'm recording this, the day before you see it, is uh, the day that my family, we're celebrating Christmas together. Me and my daughter, my two daughters and my wife, we're celebrating Christmas together. Um, but I'm recording this with you guys because I'm headed out of town to the, this evening and uh, going to spend it to, with my family two hours away. So um, forgive me, this will probably be a little sh bit shorter of an episode, but uh, I think we still have some fun stuff planned for the agenda, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave me a like on it. But anyway, blah, 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 blah. I worked on this path here, and this is a little conglomerated, but it works. Got this path that goes up here, through here, and then out here. And it'll come around and up into the train station. Now... This is something that some of you might not like at first, but I really, really do like it. Um, let's kick this guy over since he's kind of uh, glitching through the path there. So, uh, look at what we have here. We've got this white panel, right? And if we zoom way out, we can see there's this big white paneled area on the back side. So... This is kind of what I talked about last time with the backstage area. And what it's doing for me is it's making me really feel like we're in a real amusement park now. Because th these are there. You know, usually people don't see an area like this, but since it's all kind of covered in trees, it's not so bad. Um, this is a custom door. I just made that kind of custom. I just took one of the panels, one of the art. What are they called? Art shapes. This guy right here. Colored him. Well, the bigger one. Colored him and put a little window on it. It looks nice. Not bad. Um, so, yeah. I, I, I really like that. And I think we'll spend some time kind of doing a little bit more to it to where it looks a little more realistic. There's some pieces I want to try out with it. But I also uh, worked on a building on this side as well. And I think it's pretty cool. I'm kind of happy with it, kind of not happy with it. I started out, I wanted to put a tower right here. And it's a little different color. And it's got limestone on the top, rough brick on the bottom. And it ended up working out pretty nice. I've got some cool little detailed pieces. It's a very detailed uh, art piece. This is uh, a really cool little thing. We used this in our last park let it play and see if it comes out yeah there you go that's a cool little thing you know to have at the at the entrance of your park I think that's really really neat uh, but I added these guys to the side 
and this little tower right here which joins into this building now this is a suggestion somebody gave to me over here when they said hey you're having trouble with your roof why don't you try this so again we have this 45 degree angle thing that we had over here but kick it out a little bit and then this roof comes together a little more seamlessly as you can see you have a nice little valley right there so that works out really nice uh it's a little and it's also a little different look than we have over here and i've started doing some decorating i'm gonna put a little bit of a uh deck right here got a nice window and you can see our accent color is this light blue that we're gonna have on this building it's kind of in right here too but one of the most valuable things that I've learned in this building process is the split from building. So <clears throat> you can have this building here, right? I had this building here and I just extended it out a little bit, but you can take pieces from it and extend. I'm going to show you a couple little building tips that have been really helpful for me. So let's just say we take this, right? Let's grab all these pieces. I, it looks like that fence is not connected. Um, so we can go like this. Let's go boom. And we could grab the fence too uh, if we wanted to. And that's going to tell us, okay, there are some pieces attached. Actually, we'll grab this and we'll try to add that as well. And are these in there? Okay, that was grabbed, very good. And uh, we'll just add it. Okay, we'll add it to that building. So then we can go into the building edit mode. And let's say we grab this, 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 this. This is just for example, I'm gonna undo this. Um, not that piece. All right, so we grab that, right? And we'll also grab that and then split from building. Now we have the option to move this anywhere we want. It, it can be on any angle, usually with wall pieces, some of these structural pieces that aren't scenery related, you're locked into a grid and you can't move on certain angles. But now since it's its own building, we have the angle snap on, we could do something like this and then kick it back. You know, I mean, obviously that doesn't look great, but that's that's been a very, very valuable uh, thing for me. OK, that's all part of the same building now. Very good. That's been a really valuable lesson. What's the other thing I learned? Oh, man. Oh, this. OK, so uh, let's say we're duplicating something, right? Let's say we've we've done something that we really like. I'm going to do something really quick that I probably won't end up keeping. OK. Let's grab this guy and let's go boom. All right, let's grab this guy and go boom. And a window. Let's get a window in here, boom. We'll just put bleh. Why are we being picky? Why are we being picky? Uh, let's, get, let's get these. X, put that one, that one, and that one. Like I said, this is going to go away, but this is all hopefully connected to this building. So we can grab these pieces right here. And let's say this is a design we want to repeat, right? So we can hit control X and we can slide it over and try to get it in the right position, you know, but as you can see, um, it's kind of a little weird, isn't it? The way it's located, it just, you can't get like an exact, right? So if we grab it, and then grab a piece that is usually locked to a grid, like this wall. Or let's say, well, okay, that's not the best. Yes, that is the best, that should work out fine. So we grab this wall and hit Control D, now we're duplicating, and it's gonna snap to the grid that we're on. So boom, Control D, boom. Right? Now this overhangs a little bit on the edge, so it's not perfect. I didn't place these exactly, but you see what I mean? It's a it's a very nice way to get a very easy uh, duplicate, dupli, 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 of uh, some scenery pieces. 
and to help you kind of expedite your building process. So uh, these things, you know, they're very, very essential for getting your speed. If you can build quickly, uh, it's very, very helpful. But we're getting a really grand feel now for this entrance, aren't we? It's starting to really come together. So I'm getting, I'm very pleased with it. This was a big mistake. I watch a lot of Silverette, and Silverette likes to make a lot of custom things. And um, that's not smart for me. The way he does his videos, he does a lot of time lapse stuff, and that's, that's, uh, it's really cool, really entertaining. Um, but for my style of video and um, video frequency, doing super custom things is extremely time consuming. This entire roof right here is custom, and it doesn't even look that great. Uh, there, there are roofs in the game that would work for this, but they were kind of glitching inside here and blocking things off a little bit. So I was like, well, I'll just try to make something custom. And this is made up of all of these little shingles. Every little piece is hand placed and then uh, duplicated and rotated. And uh, this right here, this little roof took me probably as long as it took this entire building. So that to me was a lesson in time wasting and time management. That was a little bit of a waste of my time. So uh, probably not gonna do a whole lot more of that, unfortunately, unless, I mean, I, I do need to learn how to do it more efficiently, but um, I've also spent a little bit of time out here kind of just getting these connections worked out getting the rocks and terrain all blended and looking nice and uh, you know we've got this looking good so the tracks just ready to come out everything there's no weird super weird gaps at least um, that kind of is one but you know we'll work that out in time everything for the most part looks pretty good and pretty natural so I'm happy with it but something I wanted to try for the top of this building. Let's uh, let's edit this bad boy, and let's go into uh, let's just type panel because that's what this is. This is a panel, and let's see what pieces we have available to us. So we have these columns like this. That's cool. I wonder if there's any like ah, that's a guy. That's a guy. So I've seen I've seen Silverette do this quite a bit. And I think it's a, a really nice way to go. So if we just put some guys like this along the edge, just to kind of give it a little lip. Where am I here? Am I in this? There we go. Kind of going into the trees, but I like how, how the trees are overlapping there. That's nice. So that ties into there. I don't know where we're going to terminate this. Uh, but there's also, I don't believe it's under scenery. I think it's, uh, yeah, there it is. Air con unit, air conditioning unit. So uh, these air conditioning units are kind of nice. You could just place these right on here and you know, you get kind of a good look. You don't, I, I, I wanna get something worked out for this to where it looks realistic, but it's not over the top uh, complicated. We could also, um, there are a lot of different scenery places, but I believe, is there a metal? I think there is a metal. Um, okay, so there is. Let's take a look at this guy and see what, see what he looks like. As far as sheen and shine, it's not as shiny as I thought it would be. Is it colorable? It is. Okay. Yeah, as far as metal goes, that doesn't... I mean, you see the little kind of dots in the corners, but that doesn't look very metal to me. Okay, we could take something like this and color it. I just want some very easy pieces that I could place. Uh, let's change the grid height. Let's see if I can't get this on a level. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of a piece, right? I could do a thing. Um, but there's some duct work and I think it's under scenery. The art pieces could be very valuable. Ooh, 
Actually. Yeah? Maybe? Eh, I don't know. That's not looking so great. It's like duct work, you know? Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I'll, I'll definitely have to do some major hunting uh, to see. We'll go into the future scenery theme or the sci-fi and see if there's this tubing that I've been looking for. There's this. Aha, this. Okay. There's this. I mean, this could go into something, right? We put that like there. And then let's see if there's like a unit or something we could put down that would look not sci-fi-esque, but just look like uh, I could work. Ooh, that's humongous. Uh, yeah, possibly. There might be something. I'm just not seeing anything, anything super great just yet. But um, yeah, we'll put that into, well, let's just go into the art pieces. There's probably a square in here, isn't there? Square. I mean, that doesn't look so great, does it? No, it doesn't look so great. I wish it was more metal, but I, I di I'm sure there are building pieces in here that would uh, pull that off without us having to put too much detail and work into it. But I just want to do some things to kind of help. Let's move this a little bit. Move it like over here or something. Probably, you know, rotate it like that. Um, but yeah, just little things, just a couple of little things to help this thing look like, uh, it's an actual piece, but not draw too much attention from your eye. It's a backstage area, remember? Um, so, but what I want to do today is I want to, um, I want to Hopefully get this path situation worked out. I'm going to have to move some more of these guys, but I want to get more of my path out here. And since we're coming up on Christmas, I want to try to put like a big Christmas tree right in the middle. It won't be there forever, but just right now, since we got Christmas time coming. <gasps> Look at this. The line is full. Oh, and this one's filling up too. That makes me happy. <coughs> I'm dying. Can I click on you, please? Thank you. I think I just accidentally placed a lot of things. $6,000. Hello. Oh, and this is going up. 10 minute line. They're cool with it. That's good. 52 minute line. I'm not queuing that long. Well, you're going to have to screw because that's how long it takes. Uh, but anyway, things are looking good around here. I'm happy about it. I bet you this ride broke down, actually. I'll have to take a closer look, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to get to work on some stuff. Going to get to work on kind of uh, moving some of these parts and getting the path extended. See how we're coming along here, though. I think this is a very good start to something that's going to be fantastic. Okay, I got everything cleared out, and I got the path as good as I could get it for what I'm looking for. I think that's going to work. Let's try to connect these up real quick. Um, that'll work. And that'll work for right now. Just to get the job done. Uh, but it's giving us these empty areas. We used to come right up to here. And I can't really get a good path connection. Like I could try to go like here. Uh, and then, you know, here. And here, whoops, where would I go then? Here, maybe, like that. Well, that kind of works, doesn't it? That's not too bad. And then we just, I guess, delete the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cause we don't want, well, mm, I want a railing here. But we don't want a railing there. Yeah, there's a little bit of confusing. Railing on ground queue, on ground path. No railing there. No railing there. But that would remove that railing. That's kind of okay. I'm kind of okay with that. Yeah, this is not bad. Because I can... I can definitely make like... Well, can I not put that there? 
I really need to have a trash can over here because people love <laughs> my sneeze. Well, let's put the trash can here. Easy. Move and move. So you might think that these are kind of some weird spots, but good place to put some little trees or something. Um, so we can easily fill that in and, and that's going to work out really great. And I can make like a little custom thing that matches this. Uh, we're in good shape. That's nice. Okay. So let's take a look. Uh, a tree? Nothing. Aha, there we go. All right, now let's see. We've got all these Christmas tree decorations, right? You've got this guy. Uh, there. Done. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A beautiful Christmas tree for celebrating. I was wondering if they had one already in game, but it doesn't look like it. Um... Yes, they do. Okay. Oh, surely they do. Oh. Okay, that looks kind of nice. That's nice. I like that. Okay. Now we're done. <laughs> no, I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do a custom jobby. If we can. That's okay. That's kind of nice. Is there a bigger one? No, there's not. But, could we make a bigger one? Let's do this here. X. Place it. Rotate it. We're just going to kind of thicken it out a little bit. Make it look a little bit thicker. Raise it a little bit. Spin it. Yes. Yes, this is looking very nice now. And spin it again. Oh, that's a beauty. I mean, it's not the perfect tree, you know. Um, what are you? You are what I have. What are you? You are too small. Let me just double check the other ones that are available. Okay, this guy, too small. Yeah, I think that's our best bet. It does look a little weird from here. But up close, you know, they, they kind of, these are a little strange. This definitely looks nice, but it doesn't have all that customization. It doesn't have the, there's nothing on the bottom of it, you know? The bottom's just like that. There's no real trunk or anything. So I think this is going to work out better for us. So there's tons and tons of little decorations. There's these guys that we can put all over it. Right? I believe, too. Ooh, there's this snow tree. Mmm. Yeah, I think I like this better. Undo all of that. This snowy tree is probably going to be better, I think. Let's place it. And then up. Rotate. Yeah, this looks nicer, doesn't it? It depends on what you're feeling, you know? What you're... What you're going for theme wise. We'll see if it gets too white looking once we get everything in here. Okay, that's about what we had before. Ooh, that's kind of a nice look. I don't know. Um, I'll spend a little time off camera working on it. But, like I said, there's all these little decorations uh, that you can put on the tree to make it look really, really nice. Uh, props. And then let's just go into, let's get rid of tree, and let's just go into the festive theme. You get tons of little snow pieces, and look at all of these decorations. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, these are little lights. Here's some lights we can hang from it as well. I mean, it's going to be, uh, there's a lot we can do with this. I'm very excited. So I'm going to mess around with all these pieces and see if I can't decorate us up a really nice festive Christmas tree for our centerpiece for the holidays. Well, as you can see, oh, let me move the mic up to my face. As you can see, it kind of went with a, went with the regular size tree. Ah, oh, that's kind of a nice small one. Okay. Are these smaller? 
They are smaller. Okay. Okay, so these are the bigger ones. These are the smaller ones. Got it. So, I got the tree lit. It's not the easiest thing in the world. These are more made for buildings because they're straight pieces, most of them. Uh, but it, it, it did it. It's kind of custom, but uh, if you look very closely, you're not going to be pleased with some of the things you see. Uh, but overall, I think it looks really, really nice. The amazing thing about this is you can go through and you can color these however you want. Now, me personally, I'm a big fan of... Uh, just your standard, normal green and red. I don't like to go too crazy. That looks fantastic. I love that. Okay. Uh, but uh, this decorating the tree is very reminiscent to real life tree decoration. <laughs> it's a long, tedious process of trying to get everything exactly placed in the right spot and... Um, oh, now I've lost it. Where did it go? Oh, sometimes it gets caught in my Camry. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is not easy. Hello? Where is it? Ah, it's in me. Oh my. Okay. Heavens to Betsy. Yeah, it freaks out a little bit with the, uh... Get a guy right there, just adding a little bit of detail. Freaks out a little bit with this camera, but get one there. But yeah, it's just a matter of going through and placing every little, little piece and trying to spread them out to where, you know, you get enough. It's not too much all right by each other, you know? And I think it looks pretty nice. As you can see, like I said, the lights are kind of strange, but... It looks good overall. That green's not really showing up too much in this, so we're going to have to add some green ones. I added a little gold. Just not going too overboard with all the colors. Didn't want to get too crazy with it. Okay, where is it? I can see the shadow on the ground. There it is. Beautiful. Don't have a whole lot of decoration up here. It's like the mouse is inverted. I can see it right there. There you are. Yeah, the, it's... It, Oh, it's inverted because I turned the camera around. That's what did it. Okay. So that brings it there. Very good. We'll get one right here. But you guys are seeing the process. It's, uh... Oh, now the camera's working right. After I hit shift, maybe? I'm not sure. But I think that I'm... I, lately, I've been putting a lot of stuff on the workshop. Uh, I think I'm going to put this on the workshop as well because... Uh, you know, the Christmas tree options are good, there's good ones, but they're, you know, it might not be exactly what you're looking for. So if you're looking for another option, uh, this can be here for you. Ooh, I like this. Just the white and red. Oh, that's really special and nice. I like you. You're going to add a lot of detail to my... Oh, yeah, it's a butte, isn't it? Oh, I push, pushed it underground. Get you like here. I don't want to put him on the same level as that other one. Uh oh. It's inverted. Down and there. Right next to that pine cone. That's okay. Yeah. Some people really like like a ton of uh, color and like pinks and blues and stuff on their tree, but I'm not I'm not so much a fan of that personally. I like it to just be kind of uh, you know, as not necessarily just sticking more so to the Christmas colors. Let's get that guy right there. That's good. And we'll try to get one up higher. But anyway, I'm going to keep going on this. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. I'm going to keep going on this. I think I'll be able to wrap it up here pretty soon. And when I do, ah, guy right there. Yeah, it's just like in real life. Like you have so much like, uh, should this go here? Should this go here? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, overall, I think it's turning out pretty nice. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on this a little bit more and I'll be back with you, hopefully with a finished product. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good day.
I got her finished. Sorry for the zigzag. This guy's got a limp or something. Freaking screw. Boy, those are huge decorations. This is making me sick. I hate this man. I hate you. You stupid idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's fine. So yeah, there we go. I actually love that these are huge. I mean, it's the size of a human. Fantastic. It's beautiful. So, basically, I went through, I did all the decorations, I put the star atop the tree, which now, for some reason, is off-center? Hello? Why are you off-center? Oh, boy. If I grab like this, let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew it would do that. Let's just try this tool. Uh-huh. And get this guy. Yes! Very fine. Okay. That worked. Let's just suck it over a little bit. It needs just a little sucking. There you go. There you go, buddy. And this guy could use a little bump over, too. Very good. Okay. Stop being so stupid about it, B-dubs. So anyway, there she blows. I think it looks nice. You know, up very close. It, it's a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit on the, you know, you can kind of tell that uh, it's kind of pieced together. But overall, I think it looks really good from what we started with. It's just the regular old trees. I personally would choose that. I would choose that. Where is it? Let's find it. Uh, here it is. I would choose that over this. I like this better than this. And you could decorate this up too. But this is my style. This is what I like a little bit better. That cost some money, didn't it? Undo. Oh, only 25 bucks. That's easy. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I did all that. And then I added these animatronic guys down here. So let's take a look at what they do. Let's get a little peek. Nothing. <laughs> You don't do anything? And you cost six dollars a month? Just to sit there? I don't think I'm interested. So everybody, I mean the path's right here, so everybody's walking through it right now, but this will probably be gone in our next episode or two. Um, but yeah, then I just covered the bottom with a bunch of trees, and instead of putting like a fence or a border around it, I just put some snow down there, and I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. So let's see if I can't do something real fancy here. Oh, you want to see it in the daytime too? Sure. Here you go. Oh, also, these, these little guys don't emit light. So I added some lights on the inside to kind of illuminate it a little bit. and Make it look like it does add light at the nighttime. So that's cool. Boom. Grabbed it. Blueprint? New blueprint. Christmas. Oh boy, spell right, you idiot. Christmas tree. Christmas tree. So there we go. It's going to be a little bit of a scenery thing. But I'm going to put this up on the... Uh, up on the... Let's go with nature, I guess. Uh, I'll put this up on the workshop for you. So if you want to pop this in your world, in your park for this uh, season, you don't have to spend a couple hours on it like I did. You can just uh, pop it right in and it's done. Let me check the cost for you. Make sure you have your festive thing unlocked. $816 and this can be yours. Not bad. Uh, but yeah, I like it. I think it looks beautiful. Ah, what a view. So that's going to do it for today's episode, all right? Any suggestions you guys ever have, I mean, regarding the rest of this park, always welcome. So if you have some ideas or some cool things you want me to try out, let me know. This one right here was a great one. Loved it. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave a like if you did enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Take you up and boom, 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 bo